Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, it might not sound much for a lot of people, but of course, um, it will be something that a lot of developers and you know um, users that are a little more tech savvy than the average uh, Windows user, uh, with especially the uh, command line and all the um, you know the fact that now. Windows does have a Linux side to it too. It's um, 24H2 will introduce the command that's been available in Unix and so many other um, systems that actually lets you, as a user, you make commands and actually do things as a higher level user that you could not normally without having to you know start for example a new windows with administrative um, tasks that they could do um, because usually you know you get be an admin to do higher level command line for example and change things around in windows and in uh, many operating systems so on windows 11 24 h2 if you go to the system tab in the settings and go into the for developer sections well you will now enable sudo command here's an on off switch the reason it's off it's a dangerous command because if you turn this on and you don't use it it also means that malware could be using elevated command prompts without having to do anything because you gave it permission to use sudo which is a super duper command basically so there's an on off switch if you're a developer I think you'll be happy to have it you'll be happy that you can turn it on and maybe turn it off when you don't really need to do so uh, and this of course the, it comes with a warning it does say that uh, enable, enable the sudo command running sudo command could expose your device and personal data to security risks or arm your device, of course, because it now gives an easy way for elevated command prompts. So this is new in 24H2. It is something that is added for developers and for tech-savvy users that might need it. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.